a transfer we were going for, and it looked like Darren Moore might be a key why we don't get it. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Like and help the algorithm. Share and get in front of people's face and subscribe and let me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So, Darren Moore going has thrown a massive banner in the works in terms of some of the deals we were looking at. And none more so than Ogbené from Rotherham, who uh, yet to sign a new deal yet. You can still do deals without a manager being there, but a manager can sometimes be the big pull of why a player comes to a club. Why you want to come and be part of this. Uh, yes, he's got the likes of Smith and uh, a Whitway who could be like, you know what, my mates are there. If they're still here and they still are with the plan, let's go for it. But everything changes now a little bit. But it was the one where it was, I think if Darren Moore was still here, we would have seen it. Uh, but he's taken a massive backseat with no manager at the minute. Now, he would be a free agent. Now, there is talk that uh, it's which were interested with him. Um, us, it's which Norwich, even Club Bruges were interested in him. Uh, so, there's a lot of people looking at this player in Ogbené. Uh, now, according to the Mirror article uh, on Sunday, is that we still remain... Uh, interested in him even though with the situation with Darren Moore not being at the club we could still make a deal happen uh, but we need to start stepping up that kind of transfer action and the problem is when there's no manager players like to speak to uh, other managers that who they know who's going to be part of the team part of that set of people to be ready to go forward and come in between and say, this is the person they're going to be working with week in, week out. Now, again, like I said on the person we talked about at 12 o'clock, Sims, you can technically do a deal there without no manager and just say, look, this is who you could say, this is who I'm hopefully trying to bring in. He'll be part of the, your our team. He can be a manager. What do you think? Or you're going to try and see if you can get them sort of going forward in that way as well. Uh, so it will be interesting to see what when they do in this period of time where we're looking at getting a gaffer in place, getting players ready to come in, uh, getting the general team ready. Because at the end of the day, we haven't got anything lined up yet in that sense. Like, they have come completely out of the blue last Monday. We are all expecting to start going on with signings this, last week and probably this week. And now we're waiting to see when we've got a manager and then probably everything go really hectic in July and start pre-season. Uh, is it the most ideal situation you want for your pre-season? No. Is it something we're going to have to just deal with? Yes. We spoke about our Benny. We know what he can do. We know what the situation is. So let's see what happens. Stranger things has happened in football where players have come and there's no gaffer and then they just wait and see until the person comes in. I said that with Sims. I'm saying that with Benny. You don't know. But we will see what gets done and how people go about it. Uh, but we need to get a gaffer in and we need to start getting players in ASAP. If we don't, we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> The manager is the big one, but also I like players to start coming in. You never know, we might have a situation where we had with Deep Booth. Deep Booth came in on transfer deadline day, and we got I offer, um Oh, we got loads of players in on that day as well. I offer um, Akins singing from Newcastle, two Newcastle lads. Um, so we got a lot of players in. So there are things that you can do to get things sorted. We did get players in. And that might be a situation that happens when we sign said manager. It might be, here's your manager, and oh yeah, here's two players we've got in as well to get going. Who knows? It could be a big one like that, but we'll see. Let's see, but when they still are interested in Ogbené, but the decision with Darren Moore leaving leaves it in the balance.